With section 3 done, we're going to start modeling the details of the car in section 4. The first part we're going to model is the front bumper. I'm going to get out of camera view and I'm going to take the edge we have over here. So this edge right here at the back. Now I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate this and let's press P to separate the selection. Now let's clean this thing up a bit. It's going to dissolve the vertices we have here in the middle. Maybe a couple more here. And then let's just, let's dissolve this one too. Now let's even this out very nicely. Maybe a few more of them. Alright, now let's get to camera view. Now let's take this vertex here and extrude it in the x-axis to about there. I'm just moving it out in the y-axis to about somewhere here. Maybe a little bit to the back, like so. And let's take the whole thing and move it forward a bit. I'm going to slide this out to about here. Now let's extrude this down to around here. Now let's extrude it in the X until it merges in the center. Now let's get out of chroma view. I'm going to take this press G and Y, move this out, and then move this out as well to about there. We just take this and then slide this in a bit. I'm just going to move it in a Y a little bit. I'm just adding three extra loop cuts in the middle here, and then let's align it onto that edge nicely. Let me get out of camera view here and get to the top view so I see what we have. Let me just push this in a little bit, push this out just a little, push this out and push this out a little bit as well. Now let's take these two vertices here and let's press Shift and D to duplicate this. And let's move it in the Y axis and then down in the Z. Let me get out of camera view so we can make sure this is accurate. I'm going to move this down in the Z axis and I'm going to move it in the Y to about there. All right, now let's take this and extrude it in the X axis to about somewhere there. Now let's move it in the Y to about there. Let me move it in the X a little bit more and then slightly in the Y axis. All right, now let's put one in here to about this side and then move it in the Y a little bit. And I'm going to put two more in here. Let's get out of camera view and into the top view here. Now let me just move things around to match the ones we have behind it like that. Alright, now let's take this edge here and let's extrude it down in the z-axis to about here. Now let's extrude it in the z-axis again to about there and then move it in the x and then down in the z. And let's get out of camera view and see what this looks like. Alright, so I'm going to take this vertex here and move it in the y to about there and take this and move it in the y to about somewhere here. Let's move it in the x move it down a bit. I'm just going to move it in a Y a little bit to about somewhere here. Let me put four loop cuts in this area here and let's align it onto that edge. All right, now let's make sure the spaces are even. And I'm going to put two more down here. Now let's align it onto the edge as well. Now let's take this mesh here, shift and D it and move it down in the Z axis to line up with the second edge we have below like that. Now I'm going to take this, extrude it in the X to about there and let's move it in the Y to line up with this one. Let me just slide it in a bit and I'm going to extrude this to about here, move it in the Y to about there. Now let's take these ones as well. Now let's shift and D them and move them in the X axis to about here. Let's take these two and hit F to fill an edge between them. Now let me take this vertex here and let's extrude it all the way to about here. Now let's move it in a Y until it falls on that edge in this angle here. So something like that. I'm going to move it to about there. I'm going to put one in here and move that to around here. I'm going to have to move it in a Y axis to about there. And a little bit in the X to about there. Let's move it inside a little bit more to about there and then maybe a bit in the Y axis. Now let's put in three extra loop cuts in here and then align it with the edge we have over there. So I'm going to take this and let's move it out just slightly. Take this, move that out just slightly. Let's get into full screen here and see how we can do this by ourselves. So I'm going to move this back in. I'm going to move this in as well to around here. And let's take this and move this out a bit. Move this out a little bit. Let's move this in, 
move this in and then let's take this vertex now let's get out to full screen now when i extrude this in the y axis to the back around somewhere here i'm just going to move it in the x to about there and a little bit in the y now let's take a look in this area i'm going to take this and then let's slide it back in to about somewhere here let me see let's move it in the z axis to about here and move it in the x to about there a little bit in the z and slightly in the x to about there now let's go ahead and add in three extra loop cuts in here and then align it onto that edge Now let's take the whole of this from here to here. Let's press Shift and D and move this down to about here. Now let's move this in the X axis to about somewhere around here. Now let's take this and then let's slide this in to about here. Let's take the whole thing and then move it in the X axis a little bit more. All right, so to about somewhere here, looking at the image here, so somewhere around here should be good. I'm just going to slide this out a little bit. Let me take this, slide this in a little bit. Now I'm going to take this vertex here and move it in the x-axis to about here. Let's get to the top view and see how this looks. I'm going to move this out. I'm going to move this out a little bit. Now let's take this vertex. Now let's extrude it down to about here. Now I'm going to extrude it one more time. Let's take this, move this in the y and move this in the y as well. So down in the z. For now, let's just take this and extrude it down in the z-axis, move it in the y, and then extrude this down again in the z, and move this in the y-axis all the way to there. Let me take this vertex and move it down a bit more. Now I'm going to take this one right here and move it in the x to about there. I'm going to move it in the z-axis to about here. Let's move it up here first, so to about somewhere here. I want to move it in the y to line up with this side, so right around here. And move it in the X, up in the Z a little bit, and move it in the Y, like so. Again in the X, and then we're going to extrude it down in the Z. And then move it in the X, and then in the Y axis. A little bit in the X again, like so. Up in the Z, G and an X. Let's slide this out a bit to about there. I'm going to take this, let me slide this in. Let me make sure the spaces between these are even. All right, I'm going to put one in here, move it in the Y. I'm going to move it in the X. Take this, move that in the X a bit. I'm going to put two more down here. And let's do the same thing. Let me just take this and slide it up a bit. Make sure the spaces between these are even. Now I'm going to take 1 and then 2 and then hit F to fill in an edge between them. Alright, so now I'm going to put two vertices in between them like so. And I think that should be good for now. Let's see what we have so far. Okay, very nice. Coming out great. Alright, now one final thing we have to do. Let's take 1 and then 2 and then let's hit F to fill in an edge between them. I'm going to add one vertex here. Now let's align that with this side right here. So I'm going to move it in a Y. Let's take a look at this side. I'm going to press G and move this here. Move it in the Y axis. Move it in the X. In the Y axis like that. Let's get into the front view and see if it's good. I'm going to put two vertices in here. I'm going to move one to the side. And I'm going to move one to that side. And just move it in the X. And this one slightly in the X as well. Now let me just take this, move this in the Y, and move this in the Y slightly as well. Let me get to the side view and see what that looks like. So I'm going to move it out a bit and move this out a bit like that. Now let's make our way here. Let's add another vertex in here. Move it up in the Z and then in the X. Slide it down a bit. Let's move it in the Y here and then slide this down here to about somewhere there. Let's get onto the side view and see what this looks like. Let's disable the subdivision surface modifier for now. Let's delete the body guide mesh, which is the target here. Now, as a matter of fact, let's just delete the shrink wrap modifier. Now, I'm going to move this up in the Z. Now let's move it in the Y axis a little bit. Now let's take this and then slide this down a little bit to about here. Now let's take this vertex here and extrude it in Y to about here. Take this, 
then make sure your pivot point is set to active element and then press S and Y and type in zero. Now let's just move this in the X axis to about somewhere around here. There we go. Now we can take this two and then just hit F between them. Maybe these two as well. Just hit F and then there we go.